everybody. In light of the current world situation, I am figuring out a TBR from books that I have in my bedroom. The purpose of this TBR is to get me out of the reading slump that I have been in for months. I would say since even October of 2019, I have been reading maybe, if I'm lucky, two books a month. Most months it's taken me longer than a month to read a book. Which I know, like, it doesn't matter, but it matters to me. It feels weird to me to not read as much as I used to. So I want to get back into it, and now is the perfect time. Uh, so what I did is I went through all of my bookshelves and I picked out all of the books that I've never read before, which are a lot more than I thought. There's a lot of books that I think people gave me or I don't know how, I don't know where they came from, like old used books that I have no idea where they came from and I don't think I would have picked them up so and I also pulled out any that jumped out to me that I have that I wanted to reread. So this should keep me going for quite a while, but I did also try to organize them into categories which will help me decide what I'm actually going to read for my first TBR challenge which is to get myself out of this reading slump, basically. This is the plan. I'm gonna make a TBR of the books that I most want to read right now, whether they are rereads, whether they are new reads, whether they're books I don't know if I've read before. I'm going to make a pile of those books and I'm going to try to read them by the end of April. I don't know how many this is going to be, so the timing might change once I figure that out. Does that make sense? All right, let's go through these piles in order. The first pile I have is the books that I have definitely not read before and definitely want to read. So first up on here I have Birdie by Tracy Lindbergh which won a lot of Canadian Writing Awards and was the 2016 Canada Reads winner. It's the only book by an Indigenous author that I have not read yet from my library so I would like to read that. Uh, also I have this book that I just picked up from Kensington Market um, when I was there with Kate in, on my birthday and it is called The Reason I Jump by Nyoki Higashida and it is, uh, I believe he is 13 years old or was 13 years old when he wrote this. Yes, the author was 13 years old when he wrote this book and he is autistic and it is his responses to many many questions that people have about living with autism. I'm very interested to read it as an educator, as just a person who wants to know more about the world and people and I think it'll be really interesting to see inside the mind of a an aut autistic child. Up next I have of course the only Robin Hobb book that I have yet to read from the Realm of the Elderlings series. Uh, it is the third book in the Live Ship Traders trilogy, Ship of Destiny. It is very large and I would like to do a reading vlog of this one, so I don't know when I'm going to do it. I don't think it's going to be part of this specific TBR. Maybe I'll read it in May. We'll kind of see how the world looks then and what sort of what my time sort of looks like, but definitely want to read this this year. It has been too long since I've read Robin Hobb and I've been putting this off for so long because I don't want to be done this series. Next up is a book that I have had in my library for over 15 years I think. I picked it up at the library book sale back when I used to go there every year as a kid and it is The Mists of Avalon by Marion Zimmer Bradley. I know this is a classic fantasy. I should have read it and I remember reading like the first chapter when I was like 13 or 14 and what I picture in my head from what I remember of the first chapter is it being like my exact aesthetic. <laughs> so I'm very excited to read it finally. I have been putting it off because I had this like fantasy in my head of bringing it with me next time I went to Scotland and I just thought it would be a nice book to read in Scotland even though I know it's not set in Scotland. I, but I haven't been back to Scotland <laughs> and so I just haven't read it. It's also a very large one so we'll see uh, where this goes in the TBR. And the last book that I am 100% going to read that I have not read yet is Lumberjanes by Noelle Stevenson. This actually might be bordering on the list of books that I'm not sure if I have read it. I, I know I've read one or two volumes of this, and I don't know if I read the first volume, which is this one, I think. But we'll find out. I'll read it, and if I've already read it, it's fine, I can read it again. And that concludes the list of books that I for sure want to read. I think I'm going to pick for my initial TBR um, out of that pile. I definitely 100% want to read The Reason I Jump soon. Probably will also read Lumberjanes because it is not long and 
I want to know if I've read it before. I think I'll put Birdie on the list. I would like to read, obviously this is the, the pile of books that I want to read most, so most of my TBR is going to be from this pile. But I need to, do need to decide whether I'm going to read which of these I'm going to read for this TBR for the end of April, because they are both very large. I think I know what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to read The Mists of Avalon, but I think I'm going to do it at the end of the TBR. It'll be the last book I read, so that if it takes me a really long time, it can take me into May, but it won't cut off the rest of the books that I want to read during this TBR, if that makes sense. Next up, I have two books that I don't know if I have read before. Like, I absolutely cannot remember. One is Fairy, edited by Terry Windling. This is a compilation of fairy stories old, an old compilation of fairy stories that I got from the library book sale. And then the other one is uh, The Fair Folk, edited by Marvin Kay, which is also a compilation of fairy stories, and I got it from a uh, used bookstore somewhere. This one I, I think I may have read before. I know for sure I've read a couple of the stories from it. Uh, I got this one because it had Patricia A. McKillop in it, who's one of my favorite fantasy authors. So I think I have read at least her story, but I'm not sure if I've read the rest of them, so question mark. Same thing with this one, there is a story by Robin McKinley in this, which is the, I think is the reason why I wanted to get it, but I don't think I have read that, and I don't think I've read any of this. And it has a couple of traditional Scots ballads in it, which I love reading, so maybe I will read this one before this one. Because this one I, I think I have read it before, I just can't remember. I should check my Goodreads. My phone's over there. I'll check later and I will let you know. So that's a that's a that's a maybe later. I have a maybe later TBR for if this quarantine continues for a very long time. This one I'm going to put to my definite TBR, which is just going to be for May. This one I'm going to add to my current TBR. Up next, I have my only two books that I that jumped out at me as things I wanted to reread. So the one that for sure I would like to reread is Eggs by Jerry Spinelli. I just watched the movie Stargirl on Sunday with Charlene, and I Ginger, you are so loud. Look at this baby boy. He's so loud. Anyway, I watched the movie Stargirl and Stargirl was not my favorite book that I read by Jerry Spinelli. I've only read two. Stargirl was not my favorite, um, but it was beautiful and the movie was absolutely stunning and I loved it. And I cried a lot and it made me think about rereading Jerry Spinelli and the one that I have is Eggs because it's my favorite. So I'm probably gonna reread it and I'm gonna cry a lot. Uh, I've only read this book once and it was in university before my mom passed away and it's the story of a little boy dealing with grief over his mom dying. So we'll see how that goes but I would like to read it soon so I'm going to put that on my current TBR. The other book that I was thinking about rereading is The Railway Children by E. Nesbitt. I have read this book so many times in my life and I don't know why I latched onto it so much. Oh that just reminded me of another book that I latched onto as a kid. Maybe I want to reread that. Let's finish talking about this one first. The Railway Children is a book that I absolutely adored as a kid and I read so many times even though the other books by Inez but that I've read are fantasy and this one is not. This is the one that I grew attached to. I don't know if it's about just like the siblings taking care of each other. There's a specific scene towards the end that makes me cry every single time and I think for some reason that made me <laughs> latch onto it. I, well, you know, I love stories that make me cry. So I was thinking about rereading this, but now that I just had that other idea, maybe I'm gonna save that for my maybe later TBR. The other book that I just thought of is The Velvet Room by Zilpha Keatley Snyder. Speaking of books I latched onto as a kid, I read this so many times. It's not a fantasy, which are my favorites and usually the things I reread and it's not a story that was relevant to me at all but I just it was just very special to me as a kid so I think I would maybe like to reread it um I'll see I'm gonna I'm gonna add it to my current TBR pile and I will do another look through this at the end and see if I need to pull any out the next pile of books I, I have are the uh haven't read maybe would like to read I have like different levels of maybe wanting to read a book in these piles. This one is like my next level after de definitely wanting to read. This is my next level of possibly wanting to read. That is The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. I actually have no idea what this is about. I read the back just now. So if I read, feel like reading a classic uh, literary, literary fiction, then I guess I will read this. Um, also, it's pretty small, so like adding it to my TBR is not a big deal. 
I'm going to put it on my Maybe Later TBR for now because I also have this other book that's quite thin which is called uh, From the Mixed Up Files of Mrs. Basil and <laughs> of Mrs. Basil E. Frank Frankweiler uh, written and illustrated by E.L. Conisberg which I have no idea what this is or where it came from but it's about two kids running away and some mystery adventure thing and it won a Newbery medal, I don't know, for the most distinguished contribution to American literature for children. So it's apparently a well-loved kids book that I have never heard of, so I'm going to see if it holds up, I guess. 1967, we'll find out. But I'm gonna add that to my current TBR because I haven't read a kids book for a while and I haven't read specifically an old kids book for quite a while, so I wanna see what that's like. And then the other ones that I have here are, I have the only Terry Pratchett book that I own, which is The Amazing Maurice and His Educated Rodents. I need to read Terry Pratchett, I know. I really, I really need to. All of my friends who love him have been telling me that I need to read him, but they also all have different ideas of what book I should read first from the Discord, from the Discworld series. And this is not one that anyone has said in fact, I asked some friends and they said that this is not a good one to start with. So I don't really know if I should read it. It's good, probably gonna be on my on my maybe pile just because it's it, if I get if I run out of books and need more books to read, I will read this one. But it's apparently about a cat who has trained rats. I literally know nothing and I know nothing about the Discworld series, so that's gonna go on my maybe later pile. And then the last book I have on this would like to read if time pile, I guess, is A Black Fox Running by Brian Carter. Now that I rethink about it, I don't know if I want to read it. I pulled it out because I was like, this is like one of those old animal stories that I used to like. I think realistic animal stories, as in like, it's a there's nothing fantasy about it except that you're seeing the animal's perspective. Um, it's not like Redwall where the animals also have <laughs> clothes and weapons and fight battles and build abbeys, but... Hello. I have returned. My camera battery died and I had to let it charge for hours so now the lighting is different. Also my hair is up because I need to go to the studio and film some dance videos. But I haven't done that yet, because um, I was busy doing other work all afternoon. I think it cut me off in the middle of talking about this book and being like, I don't know if I want to read it or not. I think I've concluded that I'm not interested in reading it. It's like I, looking at it and seeing the the um, synopsis reminds me of reading a book about a cat that I read and loved as a kid, but I'm not interested in reading it, so I'm gonna put it... I changed my mind, I'm putting it in the uh, will not read pile. Other books on my will only read if I'm very bored and can't afford to buy new books, very likely, um, are The Sandman, Book of Dreams, um, edited by Neil Gaiman and Ed Kramer. I, I don't know what this is. I've had it for years and I have no idea what it is. Okay, it's a book of short stories about the Sandman, about Neil Gaiman's character, the Sandman. And if you hadn't noticed, I don't read collections of short stories very often. I own several of them. I don't like reading them very much, so I don't know. But this is this is an option for Borda Dela in three months. Also in this pile, I have Canadian short stories, another collection of stories. This is literary fiction. Probably won't read it, but I'll keep it because it's old Canadian literary for short stories. I don't know how interesting they're going to be or relevant to today, but we'll see. This is the potential to read in the distant future pile. <laughs> oh, I'm doing such a good job. Basically, these are the books that I'm not getting rid of, but not planning to read any anytime soon, I guess. That makes more sense. Hi, Hallie. Hello. Did you hear me talking to someone who wasn't you? You gonna come do the video with me? Also on that list, we have The Magic Books by Andre Norton, which is three different books, apparently, in one 
for magic, steel magic, and octagon magic. No idea why I have this, but I was thinking about maybe reading the first book in it and seeing what I think and then deciding if I keep it or not, but I'm still going to put that on my only to read if bored list. Allie, can you stop knocking my books over please? <laughs> they are not a scratching post. Also on that list I have Star of the Unborn by Franz Werfel, which is a sci-fi and I don't know. Apparently it's a well-known sci-fi book. It has a cool cover. Anyway, if I'm in the mood for some really old sci-fi at some point, I can read that. And then the last book I have on that, in that pile, is Fantasies by George MacDonald, which I haven't read a George MacDonald book in a very long time. I have a few, I have four of his other books, Lost Princess, Princess and the Goblin, etc. And I liked them as a kid, but I don't know if I would still like them today, but apparently this is like his most celebrated work or whatever, so I'm going to keep it in case I need more books to read. And then finally I have my pile of books that I am not keeping, which I... Some people must have given them to me because I don't know why I have these. The Last Rainbow by Park Goodwin. Islandia, Brandon Sanderson's The Way of Kings. And then the last one is this uh, Christmas Homecoming by Lenora Worth. I have no idea why I have this. I hate romance. I'm not going to read this book. <laughs> Those books are actually being unhauled at some point whenever I can actually bring books somewhere again. Yeah, did we did we reach a conclusion? Those are all of the books that I found on my bookshelves while I was doing this TBR. Oh, there was another book that I wanted to potentially reread. Uh, which I can add to my maybe later list, which is Dangerous Angels by Francesca Lea Block. I enjoyed it in high school and I enjoyed more of her books later when I read them in university, so I would like to reread this one because this one was my favorite, or this series was my favorite, but I'm not like super invested in reading it right now, so I'm gonna add it to my maybe later pile. All right, I think we have successfully compiled a TBR for this little challenge that I'm doing for myself that I haven't really explained properly because I wasn't sure what I was doing. Basically I'm going to try to read all of these books by the end of April. That is my challenge for myself to get myself out of my reading slump. There are a whole variety of different genres and reading levels and authors and writing styles in this so hopefully I will find something that will get me out of this slump and get me back into enjoying reading again. Thank you for coming along with me on this journey of confusion and messiness. Hi you too, thank you for also coming along with me on this journey and I hope that you are all staying safe and oh that was a squeaky noise. I hope that you are staying safe and healthy with your families and staying connected and I hope that if you don't get to see very many people like me you have some pets to cuddle at least. She's not pleased with this cuddling. All right, bye! <music>